Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. You're with Jackie Mayer from MD Everywhere's credentialing team. I'd like to thank you for joining us today for our express webinar on avoidable credentialing errors. MD Everywhere provides cloud-based revenue cycle management technology combined with expert back-end billing and credentialing services to physicians. If you have any questions, type them in the chat window and we'll get back to you with a response. All attendees will receive a copy of the presentation, and we do encourage you to follow MD Everywhere on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube for additional tools to improve the financial performance of your practice. Let's get started. Any delay in the credentialing process can be costly for your practice. But today we'd like to review the top 10 reasons why there may be delays in the credentialing process. And this is based on our extensive experience in working with thousands of physicians across the country. Number 10, do not celebrate just yet when you hear credentialing is completed. Yes, it is good news, but have you confirmed that all lines of business or all products have been completed? Has the provider been correctly entered into the company's database? Do you have an effective date? Make sure you've asked all the correct questions to ensure the plan has not made a mistake or has overlooked any product lines. This is a good time to mention the health care exchange plans. Not all providers are being offered on the exchange plan networks. When you ask about Medicare, Medicaid, HMO, and PPO networks, also ask about the exchange plans. Number nine, challenge delays on the part of the plan. Many plans are backlogged with credentialing applications. Make every effort to confirm your application was received and where it is in the process. If something sounds like it doesn't make sense to you, question it. Often heard, I have no record of your application. And when presented with evidence of a receipt by a trackable transit confirmation, the answer is, oh, yeah, it's on my desk. Oh, let me look at that for you. Make sure you do understand and accept the answer before you hang up the phone. Number eight, CAQH profiles need to be reattested, updated, and the credentialing contacts kept current. Be proactive when you're receiving an updated insurance, license, or DEA document and get it loaded onto CAQH with an updated expiration date. You'll avoid delays in recredentialing if this is part of your routine process. Be also clear on who has the responsibility to maintain CAQH profiles within your organization. Make sure someone else is copied when there's activity as a check and balance. Number seven, explore whether plans are accepting scanned applications, are using CAQH, or will accept your group information on a roster. Utilize web portals for demographic updates and application where available. Medicare Online Pecos is a perfect example of how electronic enrollment can speed up your process. In addition to moving credentialing along more quickly, you're helping the environment. Number six, scan everything you cannot save in an automatic electronic format. In the event an application is lost or misplaced by the plan, having this evidence of having submitted in a timely manner is all you have as backup when you try to appeal for a retroactive enrollment date. Not all plans and not all pro products can give you a retroactive date. I always scan the application and also the cover letter. We've had to resend scans and have successfully won appeals by having everything at our fingertips. If you're faxing, scan the confirmation of the fax as evidence of submission. Number five. Be familiar with how the credentialing process flows at your plans. Is there a centralized credentialing department? Is the local rep moving your application along? Will there be a review of network need and the possibility a provider will never even be moved along in the process? If there's a committee, you can find out when your provider will be presented. Following committee, what's the process to complete the path? And when can your provider see patients as participating and get paid. Number four, are the applications you're submitting complete? Are they signed? Do they have all the requisite contract attachments? 
control anything you can control by having everything you need for credentialing before you even start the process. Are all signatures in place and dated? Do you have a DEA with a local address? Is your CV in month year format? Have you included identification with evidence of a signature for Medicare? If you know what the plans need, make sure your application includes everything to avoid delays. Number three, if you're looking at a three to six month credentialing process, sending in an application with expiring credentials will result in a delay, guaranteed. We mentioned previously that the CAQH needs to be updated when current documents are received, but are you checking any applications in process to proactively send these documents to the plans? Missing a credentialing committee meeting due to expired documents is common. Plans will not send a file to committee unless everything is current, and you could lose another month or so on your effective date. Number two, follow up at regular intervals. Phone if you need to, email your contacts, and also check the web directories. With few exceptions, plans will not call you with updates or reasons for delays. The only way you'll know is to follow up on a regular basis. No one's more concerned about your application than you are. Make follow-up a routine and planned event, which does not stop until the application is approved and participation is secure. Finally, number one, recognize the importance of credentialing in the patient scheduling and revenue cycle process. If you're finding that credentialing and enrollment delays are hampering payments or patient access, or changes to your practice have increased your credentialing workload overnight, let us help. You can call us. Our experienced team has been providing services for over 10 years, and we can help you as well. We hope you found this information helpful. I'd like to take just a minute or two to invite you to follow MD Everywhere, as previously stated on our social media. Our social media outlets are rich with relevant and current healthcare news and timely articles. We believe that information contributes to success, and MD Everywhere is a purpose-built revenue cycle company designed for the success of our clients. Thank you for sharing your time with us this afternoon. I would also love to hear from you with feedback on today's topic, or if you have any questions about future topics or our services. Have a great afternoon.